From the hallowed grounds of Fenway Park, we've got baseball on the show. It's the Detroit Tigers and the Boston Red Sox. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now and towing the slab for the Boston Red Sox in this one. Tanner Howe, what's the word on him? Well, you don't always know what to expect with this guy in the mound to start the game. He can be really good at times and turn in some real excellent efforts. For me, it'll tell us a lot to see how he's attacking the strike zone and pitching aggressively or not. If he's doing that from the jump, I think he'll be fine in this one. And now, Parker Meadows. And first offering is fouled off. And the right-hander deals. Pitch misses. And one and one. And another ball. Two one. Swing and a miss. Two and, two. and it's two and two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Kicks and fires. Swings through it for the K. Some high cheese for strike three. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Here's the second baseman, Spencer Torkelson. This one popped up. Dahlbeck makes the grab for the second out. At third, the designated hitter, Miguel. And now Cabrera. up to hit, Miguel Cabrera. Bounced up the middle. Whips it to first. And that is that. Tigers nothing. Sox coming to the plate. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at Fenway. And getting the start, Eduardo Rodriguez. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Here's Alex Verdugo. The wind of the pitch. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. wind of the pitch so now one and two I think he was sitting off speed there and down on strikes one gone here Raphael Devers up to hit first offering and it just misses In the air, out towards right center. Meadows flashes the leather on the run and catch. Batting third, the third baseman, Justin Turner. So now Turner in on that right side.
And the first That's pitch the misses for ball one. Ripped to short, snagged on a bounce. The throw, inning over. Red Sox go down quietly. We played an inning, no score. Back here at the ballpark, second inning set to go. And now the right fielder, Kerry Carpenter. Houck back to work. On the ground to first. One up, one down. And now, Matt Veerlin. Line the other way. That's a fair ball. And down the right field line and towards that corner. Throws to second. Not going to get him. He's in there. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. Man at second with one away. Andy Abanez, the next to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. No score here in the second. Fouled off. He was late. And the righty deals. In the air, left field, down the line. He's got it. That's out number two. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat so digging in Akil Badu fell off to a great start he's really cruising out there on the mound he's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches that could set him up to go deep into this game that's in there that's strike one Veerling stands at second with two gone Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. 0-2 oh now. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Turner makes the grab on the run. Tigers leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. We head to the bottom of the second. Now it's the rookie DH, Masataka Yoshida. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. The pitch. Top yeah. of the zone for a called strike. Well impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, and you can play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. On the ground to third. Can't field it cleanly. Leadoff man aboard on the air, and that puts your pitcher in a little bit of a tough spot right away to start the inning, not where you want to be. So we'll see if he's able to work around it and pick the defense up. Here's Trevor Story. In there for strike one.
Rodriguez throw to first. A one down. That one ripped. Should be extra bases. Makes the turn at second, heads for third. Throw comes in, runner stopped, second and third, nobody out. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. And stepping in, the rookie left fielder, Willier Abreu. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Base runners at second and third here. No outs. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 2 now. Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today. And Boog, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. We see a lot more of that in today's game with guys going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to call strikes up in that part of the strike zone. Swing and a miss struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. One down, runners at second and third. Next offering is in for a strike. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Strike two. Two on, one out. And there's a ball. Second and third here, one away. Swings and misses, struck him out. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Number 47 up next for the Red Sox. Two outs, two in scoring position. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Good eye right there. That's off the mark. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And that's a little high. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Second and third, two down. down looking well this guy competes hard we see the emotion there I love it great job of getting out of the jam and we're back here at Fenway Park out of the third inning now it's Javier Baez
How back to work. Ball no, one there. How the goes six feet five inches. Ball, he features a slider, a sinker, a four seamer, and occasionally works in a splitter. In there at the knees, and the count is one and one. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. And a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. The high heat too much on that one. We're going to take a look at the pitch sequence of that at bat. And the thing to notice are the pitch locations. Every single one of them on the edges of the strike zone. And as a hitter, that can be pretty frustrating because you don't expect a pitcher to be able to make quality pitches one after another like that. And so those are tough spots to do damage in a great demonstration of pitch command. And it got him a punch out that time. Now it's going to be Jake Rogers. The 0 1. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. One down, base is empty. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. That was a well executed slider away for the strikeout right there. First two pitches filled up the zone and got him ahead 0 2 in the count. And at that point, you can start expanding the zone as a pitcher. He made him chase and got the quick strikeout. Parker Meadows will hit next. Let off the game with a strikeout. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. And that's too high. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. The big righty strikes out the side. Tigers are shut down there. Still no score. Back now at Fenway. And now the catcher comes up to him. Connor Wong. The wide to kick the pitch. Just missed. The other way, and a base hit, and the leadoff man aboard. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Alex Verdugo up next for the Red Sox. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Wong gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Left hand hitter waits. No, that's out. Just off the outside part of the plate, Rafael Devers waiting to bat for the Red Sox.
swings and lines a base hit into left field. Throw holds him at second, but the go-ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. First and second, no outs. Now it's Devers at the plate. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. He's 0 for 1. The pitch just missed. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. And now the lefty, a swing and a miss, and that's strike one. The 2 1. Justin Turner in the on deck circle. First and second here, no outs. That one fouled off. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Caught him looking for the K. Two on, one out. Justin Turner up next for the Red Sox. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. Well, so all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. One out. Runners at first and second. That misses. And that is ball one. Way to lay off that pitch down. That misses the zone. And it's two and one. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. At the belt and fires. And that one missing low. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. Masataka Yoshida up next. And that'll load the bases. Now that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. So here's Boston's cleanup hitter, Masataka Yoshida. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. One out, base is full. Hard hit to right center. Can't get there, base hit. One runs in, Baez. Relay to third, safe. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. Trevor Story comes up to the plate, doubled in his first A.B. In there, and it's 0-1. Out in front, and foul to the left side. First and third, one down.
Next pitch misses. And the count one and two. It's a good take. Next pitch is inside. Two and two. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Comes a 2 2. Ground ball right side could be two. Over to Baez. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. Three innings complete. It's the Red Sox two and the Tigers nothing. Here at Fenway Park, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Spencer Torkelson. The right hander back to work. That's off the mark, ball one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. That's one of those swing now before the pitchers even let go of the baseball. And a one-two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a one-two again. That's inside. Still two and two after the foul ball. Next offering misses down and away. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Base hit, center field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Miguel Cabrera now at the plate. That misses. And that's ball one. Swing and a ball popped up. That gets down for a hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. Carpenter stands in now, looks at that one inside. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. The pitch. That one missed. The pitch. Hit on the ground, might be two. To second for one. To Dahlbeck, double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. Here's the third baseman, Matt Veerling. Doubled his first time up. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Now 
next offering is in for a strike. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. And now the count is even. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. One left for Detroit. They trail things here, 2-0. Welcome back. Bottom of the fourth. Now at the plate, Willier Abreu. A little surprised we don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty-lefty matchup. And here it comes. That's to third. Dives, and he can't hang on. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Bobby Dahlbeck up next for the Red Sox. His first at bat was a strikeout. Rocketed out towards right center. And that's a base hit. And now runners at the corners. Nobody out. Now back, second base. So they're at the corners now. Now it's the second baseman, number 47. Misses outside, and it's 1-0. One ball, no strike. Abreu on third, Dahlbeck on at first with nobody out. And that one fouled off. You know, these Red Sox do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They're doing it. Hard ground ball, base knock. In comes the run from third, and they're up by three. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. Singled and scored his first time. Pitches right. in there. Strike one. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game. No outs, runners at first and second. One and one. Tigers bullpen with some action. Brennan Hanafi, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Cisnero warming up as well. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And a 1-2. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Throws him with the heater at the knees. So up next, Alex Verdugo. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's two down. The center fielder, number 11. Devers now. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. First offering misses the mark. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then 
if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Up the middle, and that one handled. Flip to first, ends the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 3-0. Back after this on the show. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And the batter now, Andy Abanez. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And now it's even up. Well, these Tigers just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. And that's a strikeout looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball really locked him up, and a hitter it's not typically what you're looking for you're trying to protect away and then in so you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it'd be called a ball but either way that's a really nice pitch stepping in a kill Badu. first pitch just misses Right-hander kicks deals, and that's through there for a strike. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. No, that's Next it. one misses, and it's two and one. Kicks and deals. And now two and two. Here's the 2-2. Ground ball right side. Just one out remaining for the Tigers. So, last chance for the Tigers. The batter now, Javier Baez. Struck out swinging his first time. And that's in there for strike one. And this guy's got a great feel oh, for his breaking ball today. Next offering oh, way off the plate. Two outs. And one and two. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. Here's a high chopper. Throw to first, ball game, and the Red Sox get a shutout on the mound. This is just a nice win, three nothing ball game. You feel comfortable about the three runs that you scored, but you also know that if you're not careful, a bloop, a base hit, and a home run ties everything up. But it was great pitching, timely hitting really made the difference. A shutout in this one, three nothing. Our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.